You remember that Valentine's Day, Gopal, huh. in '97? Both of us together at the crossroads, oh, yeah. not knowing what to do. True. We got down, got into your car, and went for a long ride. When we reached Worli, we decided to get down and have tea. And what a way, what a place to have tea. <laughs> a nondescript restaurant called Picnic, and ironically, Picnic. Then we got up, made up our minds, and said, yes. No more jobs. We get into business, formed a company. Obviously, we needed to sort out a few things. First was an office and then was a name. Goodrich was a name which just struck both of us. We said, okay, that's a name. But we needed business, didn't we? Oh, yes, we needed business. That's, that's a time when we, we really feel, yeah, friends are really there. We had a friend who came and told us, listen, I've got cargo. I've got a contract lined up for another six months. Can you guys source a ship for me? 100,000 tons of rice. Six month contract finished in four months. And that was the fairy tale beginning. Yes, a fairy tale. Because the next friend who came to us, he offered us what's called as a liner agency. Short span of time, there we were in Mumbai Port Trust handling container ships. Four figure volumes in no time. But at the back of our minds, we knew liners are setting up their own shop. And we knew that we need to insulate ourselves. A thought occurred to our mind, why not we have our own container service? Our liner agency business, apart from the volumes, developed exponentially. More principles, a pan-India expansion. Synergies that propelled the volumes to 50,000 TUs last year. And then another friend came along. We set it up in Singapore, Vasco Maritime PT Limited. So we started this small little project. It was all very humble beginnings. Uh, we took some help from some good friends. They came along our way. They moved us together and they said, come on, pick yourself up, let's do something together. At every given point in time, uh, we found that uh, there were uh, uh, various problems that we faced, but those problems we were able to overcome together only in the way in which we addressed every problem in the spirit of friendship and in the bond that we had created all through. We grew in size and we thought, okay, we need to have an office of our own. We moved into the Mumbai suburbs. In the year 2000, we bought our first office. See, more of our business uh, was towards the Middle East. We knew that it is imperative for us to form a company in Dubai, to have our own marketing set up. And with that in mind, we set up a company in Dubai, Vasco Global Maritime. Today, that company does 70,000 container moves in Jabal Ali port. Well, the time had come when we had to look into niche businesses. And that's a time we ventured into what's called a refrigerated container services, the reefer containers. And that's a time we also decided we need to do some asset building as well. So we bought our own reefer containers, moved them successfully. And today, they are moving all over the east and the west. The reefer business, apart from requiring state-of-the-art equipment, requires total commitment not merely in commercial terms, but to maintain the equipment around the clock and ensure absolute customer satisfaction. We were very clear in our mind that we need to be a different company. We are constantly looking at more number of logistic services. Keeping that in mind, around 2001, we decided, let us get into another logistic segment. And that segment was bulk liquid logistics. And this division started off with a product called Flexi Tanks. Oh yeah, a really challenging one. And from there on, we started having multi-products in this bulk liquid division. From the concept of selling flexis to the knowledge and skill demanding marketing of ISO tanks too. Promoting our BLD service was very enjoyable and of course, a very, very challenging one. So many services to sell, flexis, ISO tanks, SOC tank management, leasing of tanks, gas tanks. In flexis, we are undoubtedly the market leaders. After the initial experimental stage, we have now established domestic bulk liquid logistics services connecting through trade, road and sea. And the USP we had is the high level of technical expertise that we have. We have all of them in-house, and this we had it from day one, if you remember. Exactly. 
we require to be highly knowledgeable attentive alert and safety conscious to ensure uninterrupted services our emergency protocol is of a very high standard the small conference room do you remember gopal that was really that conference room has many a story oh, to yeah. tell many a brilliant idea also came out of that conference room one day towards the end of the day we post in front of the uh, camera and said this is a vintage ship model take a click and at that time it also clicked our mind that we should have a vessel of our own oh yeah very soon we did acquire our first container ship and then in 2004 we christened her as Vasco da Gama and in a span of 4 years we bought the second one and called her the Vasco Bharati the erstwhile soviet union you know got splintered into several states all landlocked states all of them independent and logistics into this territory was going to be a very challenging one and our experiment to start with was a trifle difficult too but now we are on our way we cover the first leg by sea to the entry ports in iran china turkey and georgia then the overseas associate takes over and carries the cargo to the landlocked locations from baku to almaty we do afghanistan too so and it also required a lot of expertise and a lot of uh understanding to know what's happening within these borders the multi border winding roads and then you know right now we are venturing into all these areas with ease with some expensive equipments of ours it was our aim as well as that of our principles that we set up a mirror image of the indian bulk liquid division in dubai as well right from the activity of uh, supplying flexi tanks to representing iso tank operators and running our own fleet of iso tanks that was what the profile for this company was and it was common knowledge to us that the arabian gulf was a hub of petrochemical activities so a strategy was evolved to establish a subsidiary for goodrich in the uae with this goodrich maritime llc was formed in the year 2003 within a sm- uh, short span of time we had a good amount of containers connecting the gulf upper gulf with the whole of indian subcontinent the dry vans growth prompted and helped us to establish our own iso tank fleet which the the growth was so phenomenal that within a span of few years we could establish our presence in asia australia africa and europe we are always exploring searching new ground pushing yes. ourselves to the hill maximum our aim is to be the most versatile logistic company in the world and we are fast moving towards it keeping that in mind we decided gopal if you remember another company in dubai in the dubai maritime city to conduct bulk vessel operations on a global basis we have done around 25 vessels so far all of them carrying bulk cargo from fertilizers to coal grains to steel products we have carried more than a million tons of cargo so far a well knit department located strategically both in dubai and mumbai conduct these operations we are now poised to perform a highly voluminous coastal cargo of equipment once we were firmly set up in the arabian gulf we said okay let's now venture into the east to explore the east we entered into a strategic alliance with four tank operators good friends of ours and formed a company in hong kong called the asian tank alliance then in order to fortify our marketing presence in the east we opened a company called goodrich orient in singapore the trade development for goodrich iso tanks has been all over asia and the oceania region we have been constantly providing our services for some of the world's renowned chemical companies some have also interested us to further expand the 3pl operations in india right now we are in the process of restructuring our overseas holdings and keeping that in mind we have established another company called goodrich asia pacific pte limited this probably would take care of our entire interest in the asia pacific global freight forwarding lcl consolidation these are the activities which are very close to our heart in fact the lcl consolidation uh, activity 
fortifies our uh, Jabal Ali warehouse, which is doing exceedingly well. True. And to enhance the uh, global freight forwarding activity here in India, we have now set up a Goodrich America's INC in the US, and that is located at New Jersey. Passionate about projects has been the refrain of our project division, and we have been very active not only in India, but in overseas too. To combine all resources and to synergize, we have now restructured our project division with customs broking, warehousing, transportation and global freight forwarding, now to be known as Goodrich Logistics. It's common knowledge that strategic alliances and joint ventures are uh, integral in today's corporate world. So we have entered into two joint ventures. One is to put up a container freight station at Kandla, and the other one is to put up an office in Azerbaijan. This probably would take care of the entire CIS for us. We are always innovating. There is always a dream that's relentlessly being chased and pursued with a lot of intent. We are now uh, you know, planning to put up a warehouse in Panvel. This, this is going to be a greenfield project wherein we would incorporate a uh, water harvesting system, a solar energy uh, tapping one, and then uh, we also have an extended one in Dubai now, we're planning. That's going to be a chemical storage and blending facility at Jabal Ali. Where this is started to be the first third party facility in the UAE. And uh, we're awaiting permissions from the authorities there. And by the end of uh, 2014, we should have it really streaming out. Gopal, today what we are is primarily due to the unending and huge contribution made by our staff our people. A lot of them have been with us for a long period of time and many of them have grown in stature. Oh yeah and you know we have an excellent bond with our people and we are proud that we have trained them and empowered them from time to time. We drive ourselves crazy but we will not have it any other way. In the last 17 years we have been having increasing revenues driven by experimentations, innovations, expansions. Gopal, our aim is we will be a $500 million company by 2020. We should. But we should always be left with the feeling, so much to do, so little done.